Hey everyone, Coach Matt over here at Primal. Got another great question. We're in between sessions right here uh, at Primal Athlete Training Center, PrimalATC.com. In between sessions, we got a great question. It says, Hi Coach, I have one small question. When I look at all professional throwers, they look down at the floor while gliding, but I can't do that. I look forward. So I was asking, does that affect your technique and prevent you from throwing far? I'm 196 centimeters, I weigh 123 kilos, I throw 18.22 with the 5 kilo, born in 1994. Thank you in advance. Um, didn't sign his name or leave his name, but I figure we answer the question for him. Now obviously we're dealing with somebody overseas. They're about 16 or 17 years old, they're using the 5 kilo, which is about 11 pounds. Actually, I think it is exactly 11 pounds. And he's asking, a lot of the top gliders, if you look at videos on YouTube, uh, there's a lot of good channels out there. One of them is called 70 Footer, 70 F O O T E R. When you look, some of these guys, when they get down in their shot technique, they're real low to the ground and their head is down. They've got their chin. Their chin is tucked. And they've got the shot underneath their chin. Some guys, their head is nice and straight. Some guys, they're looking up. Doesn't really matter. I was never really a stickler for this, uh, and I'll tell you the reason why. All that really matters to me is the head position at the very end of the throw. So, the head is up, the chest is up, the hips are underneath you, legs are extended, and at the end of the throw, heads up, looking in the sky, looking over the, the trees, whatever you want to do to cue getting that head up to allow that shot to come out nice and clean. That's what's most important to me. Now, with that being said, um, head position at the beginning. If your head is nice and straight on top of your shoulders here when you're standing, that's how I would like it and that's how I coach it to be in the throws. So for example, if the head is here, that means the head, just like if it was on a statue, the head stays flat the whole time. We're not going to drop the head, we're not going to lift the head here. I like to keep it nice and straight. I like to pick a point that's probably about seven or eight feet in front of me on the ground, a tuft of grass, someone's shoe, someone else's shot put, the leg of a chair, whatever's out there. I like to pick that point and stare right at it. That way I'm going to focus so when I go through my glide, I'm not turning my head too early, I'm not opening my shoulders too early. I keep my focus and I keep my head and my eyes right on that uh, point right there in, in, in front of me. Hopefully this answers your question. It's a good question. Guys, anything like that, keep it coming. That's a real short question, real short answer, but it's going to make a lot of difference when he throws because he's curious. He wants to know, you know, the best technique, the best place to put his head to help throw. He's doing really well. I mean, he's throwing 18.2 meters, I think he said, which is uh, pretty damn good. That's like 60 feet. So, it's a hell of a throw. 65 feet. All right, guys, make sure you keep checking out PrimalATC.com. Sign up for our newsletter. You're going to get emails like this in your inbox every single day. Make sure. We're trying to make PrimalATC.com an online headquarters, a hub, a place where you can go to learn more about your throwing technique and your training in season and off season. Go to Primal ATC. Leave those comments. Leave those questions. I'll be happy to answer them for you.